Hello everyone, and welcome back to Stoneblock 3. Um, we are of course back on the server, a few people on it this time. Um, and last episode, we did some chicken stuff. We did a pretty decent amount of chicken stuff, we got we got started. Um, we also opened some chance cubes again, um, as per tradition at the end of that tunnel. Um, and we got a Firefox. And I saw the Firefox earlier um, in water. I think it was that water over there. And then obviously it's fallen in here, so he's nice and safe. Awesome. He looks a little bit scared, but... I think he's fine. <laughs> um, so, what's next? <laughs> um, well, I want to do more chicken stuff because the chicken stuff, as you can see, works pretty well. Now, it makes a decent amount regardless, but because I'm playing on a server, even without having my stuff um, force loaded or anything, it just sort of happens like this where, where you get a lot of resources. So, realistically, I, yeah, like if this was really slow and we got all this stuff, I'd feel a bit guilty about using it. But if I take, take this stuff out, as you can see, like, look, listen, it's not a crazy amount, but each time this ticks, we get six. You know what I mean? So, like, we'd still get a decent amount, so it's pretty good. Um, in terms of leveling this guy up, we've got some stuff in here. I think we've got, what, two of them are, like, six, six, eight, and then one of them is six, seven, seven. I don't know which one's the better one to go for. I might grab the, the eight. We'll take these out. We'll put in the eight. I think that's the strat. Oh, actually, hold on. Let's put the eight in with the sevens. Huh? Maybe? I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens. So we're going to be doing all this stuff. Um, someone else suggested potentially um, that this guy will pick up from modded chickens. So I think that's a great idea. Um, we'll grab one of these really good chickens we got. So um, one of the 667s. We'll place this on the ground. Okay. So, so yeah, chickens here. As you can see. Oh my God. I... <laughs> I... <laughs> Look at him go. Sure, sure. I, it's fine. Um, I didn't expect it for whatever reason. I listen. I don't know why I did not expect it at all. Uh, do we have any leads? Did did like a traveling salesman visit us at all? <laughs> I don't know. I I just had to sort of sit there and, and take that one in. Um, all right. What I want to do now is can we make a lead? Is this something we can do? Slime ball and string. We can. Oh, do we have string? We can do slime ball. We don't really have string. Uh, rope potentially from straw, which is from, uh, rice. And we don't really have rice. Do, do, do we? Any rice? Any? No, it doesn't, it doesn't look like, I mean, there could be, you know, I, I can't really see too well. I, I mean, I can see well, but you, you get what I'm getting, you get what I'm getting at. <laughs> um, string, what can we do? Flax, industrial hemp. None of this stuff we have for whatever reason. I'm surprised, uh, yeah, I'm surprised we don't have any hemp to be honest. No flax either. Okay, well, we'll leave him there for now and we won't place the chickens. But the thought is that it'll pick up the drops from chickens walking around. Um, so anyway, what's next? Um, what's this guy? Oh, a 779. Let's go ahead and put 779 in here with probably a 778. That, that seems like a pretty good one. And as you can see, we're going to get a bunch of junk here. It's just sort of going to keep happening. Um, in terms of storing the chickens, we were just chucking it all in here. To be honest, though... I could place them down there and just sort of have the fox deal with them. I, honestly, like, listen, I understand that it doesn't sound too good, but it also kind of does. Like, it sounds like that solves my problem. We've got the chickens there. So the rest of these chickens, is it auto-filling? Yeah, okay, it's auto-filling. I was like, it looks like I'm just, like, duping them. Uh, but no, they, they are, it's just auto-filling from my inventory. Uh, but we're going to place all these down. <laughs> now, now, now. Listen. Oh, do they, does he just kill them all? That'll be a quick process. Um, what I was gonna... Yeah, look at him go. <laughs> look at him go. This is internet. We can sit here and watch it all day. Um, we are playing on a server, right? This is a lot of chickens. You could get in trouble. What is that? A loot chest. Oh, look. A rare loot chest. Oh my God. Okay, I'm getting so distracted. Um, so, so yeah, just, just be aware that like, I can do this because I'm the boss. <laughs> no, that, that's not the point, but it kind of is the point, right? I'm doing this for content. Realistically, like... If this guy wasn't killing them all, I wouldn't have this many chickens on the ground. And regardless, these chickens are really annoying. Um, so you probably wouldn't even want it anyway. I'm literally just going to mute all the chickens. And now it's nice and quiet for the most part. Um, so, so yeah, just be aware of that, right? We're playing on the server. Don't spam mobs everywhere. Um, anyhow, <laughs> I'm going to run around and pick this stuff up. I'll also keep an eye on this roost. See if it does anything. I think he's going to kill them all before it happens. But um, also, just real quick, rare loot crate. Boom. Refined obsidian sword. Uh, sword, yeah. Cool. Um, it's better than what we've got, so I'm gonna use it. Wonderful. Awesome. So this guy, yeah. 
He swings pretty fast. Cool. Sure. Um, so yeah. Uh, in terms of this episode, are we just going to do quartz chickens? Probably not. That doesn't sound like a, an amazing idea. Um, what do we have here? I just want to get them to level 10. That's sort of what I'm uh, pushing for here. 779. Uh, yeah, let's swap those out. This could be a 10, 10, 10 chicken. <laughs> we're we're going to find out sooner or later. Um, but yeah, look. Yeah, he's good at what he does. You know, credit where credit's due. Ooh, 9, 9, 10. Let's swap that out. What's this? Nine. Yep, yeah, we'll swap this one out. Okay, we're, we're very close. We've, we've pretty much got it. <laughs> and yeah, I'm, I'm actually also really surprised that we're actually like getting loot from this. Like decent loot. Um, so if I open this guy up, an iron helmet. Awesome. We can't wear it because we're currently uh, trapped, but it's fine. Uh, and, and yeah, by the way, in terms of the production right here, this was a half, uh, you know, standard chicken. It's already full. So like, as you can see, it fills up very, very fast. Um, so <laughs> I keep getting distracted just by like leveling up this chicken. Um, what other chickens do we want? Well, we'll consult the book and we'll see what the book has to offer. Um, these chickens have to be crossbred from other chickens. Maybe we try one of those. So the nether quartz chicken can make a glass chicken, a glowstone chicken, an osmium chicken, um, depending on what you give it. Um, what do we want? To be honest, I kind of want glowstone because at the moment we're lighting up our base with torches. We could use a feral flare lantern. This guy would need glowstone. That's pretty much all it would need. Or we could just use glowstone, right? It's a, it's a beautiful block. So it, that could be something worth going for. Um, alternatively, glass also, that sounds pretty good. I reckon we go for the, the glowstone. So for this, we would need a yellow chicken, which is going to be a bunch of yellow dye and an egg in the middle. Um, in terms of getting that, yellow dye. I don't really know where we're getting our hands on that. Uh, or we could do a mystical flower. That's an option. Um, anyway, yellow dye. Uh, so mystical flower, dandelion, sunflower. That's pretty much it. Alternatively, there's some like wild cabbage you can throw in here. Um, or, an, or, or a daisy. We'll, we'll get the job done as well. Um, hmm. The best option realistically, would be to get to get the flowers, right? Um, for that, we need uh, grass. I'm just seeing, is there grass seeds? There's slimy seeds, seed grass, grass, grass seed from Jags. This might do the trick. Oh, and we get it from crooking dirt. Oh, okay, so this is very doable. Um, so if I grab out all of this dirt and we grab out our wand, put the dirt in my offhand. Um, yeah, we'll walk in here and do it. Spam this guy in here. Oh, I might need to change his uh, configuration to be not restricted. Oh, like that. Oh, no, oh, no. Oh, oh, yep. What? Yep. There we go. And spam this stuff. We can fill it up, as you can see, quite nicely. And then I believe we've got a bunch of crooks in here. We can go ahead and grab... Yeah, we'll see if one does the trick. <laughs> it might. And we can uh, vein mine this. And as you can see, too many seeds. <laughs> we literally can't hold them all. Um, so that's how you get, apparently, everything you want. Um, and some of those grass seeds. Beautiful. Very beautiful. Chuck all of that in there. We'll grab the rest of the seeds. Might as well. They, they look like there's some pretty pretty beautiful trees, saplings and whatnot. Um, check that in there. But what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to place it down here. So, boom. Grass. Is this what outside looks like? Awesome. Oh, that reminds me as well. There are blocks. So, so, so there's a mod that stops um, shaders from working, right? It's currently like incompatible with it. It might have been updated or fixed by now. I haven't checked. But um, it was stopping me from using shaders. And it is this mod right here. Literal Skyblock. And I don't know if you know, but I think this literally makes a sky block. As in, if I place this all around the roof, it would look as though, you know, the world's out there. That's pretty cool. That's that's pretty cool. It needs stone and it needs amethyst. Amethyst could be tricky. Oh, actually, we get it for... Oh, my, wait, wait, wait. We might have a bunch of this. Hold on. We might be able to make sky. <laughs> well, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Boom. We do. We do have some. Very interesting. Very, very... Okay, so I can take this out. First of all, is there a way to get more amethyst from the amethyst? And by that, I mean, yeah. Can I make a budding amethyst? We could. Yeah, we could. All we need is blaze powder. Hold on. Potentially an energy collector. We'll have to... We'll, we'll, we'll check our sources later. Uh, we'll look at the blaze rod as well. Uh, maybe an alchemy table. We'll have to see how difficult it is to get our hands on this stuff. Um, pulverize, obviously... Um, okay, and, that, and that's that's like the full loop, I think. I think we've sort of looked at everything. Okay, so, <laughs> blaze rods. What about this? There is a blaze rod chicken that is made with lava and gold chickens that is made with nether quartz and coal. I didn't even see this option. Maybe there were pages of it. Was there pages? Oh, there was. Lava chicken, yeah. Okay, so so we we could get that. I mean, there's a lot of work you got to put into it. Um, it's doable, though. It's definitely doable. Alternatively... 
an alchemy table. We would need uh, this covalence dust, which needs an energizing orb. Ugh. Or we would need an alchemy table. Well, I guess, oh, that's what we're looking at. Sorry, yeah. Um, or we would need an energy collector. But either way, we need energizing orbs, which need uh, power, essentially. So, kind of don't want to do that. I don't want to do that yet. I, I, listen, I wasn't mentally prepared to go and make like a power generation. So, we're just not going to do that. It doesn't seem worth it. Um, so, we'll use the amethyst we have at the moment. And we won't worry about the rest of that stuff. Um, we also needed, was it literally stone? Hold on. What, are, what am I looking for here? The sky block. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Bookmark this. Sky block. Um, I'm, I'm just trying to see if it use, uses cobble. It doesn't look like it does. It looks like, from, from what we're looking here, it's like some type of stone. Now, that could be like diorite and stuff. We obviously don't have that. Um, or, yeah, stone. So, what we should probably do is pick up some of this stuff, um, I guess from here, and just get it smelted. Alrighty, stone is complete. We will grab that. I sat there and waited for it. It took a little while. Um, and then we have our sky blocks. And it makes a decent amount. So that's a full stack right there. And then what do we do with it? <laughs> I'm not sure what we do. Really, listen, listen. I want to give this guy a, a little chicken area. I want to give them... Oh, almost like a dome. Hold on. We're, we're going to have to at least place one. I don't know if you can mine it again. So we'll place it here. Oh, wow. <laughs> that's that is very trippy look at it there it is is the sun moving mm, doesn't look like it wow okay 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 and we can pick it up with the pickaxe beautiful beautiful so yeah do i just fill that entire ceiling with it maybe what do we have in terms of like exchanging gadgets shifting crust that sounds disgusting um exchanging modifier Ooh. Broken blocks by this tool are replaced by the block in the offhand if possible. That sounds amazing. I don't have ender pearls. <laughs> so it's a little bit less amazing than it otherwise would be. Um, but yeah, we can, we can do this. I reckon, I reckon that sounds like a really fun idea. I, I genuinely, I, I love the sound of that. Um, now we've got plenty of amethyst. The problem is honestly the stone. My question is, is there um, two times stone? There is. The question of this was going to be, could you smelt... Um, compressed cobblestone to get it from the looks of things no um no it doesn't look like that was an option i kind of want to try it regardless so let me maybe like take out one of these and just see what it'll do it's showing uh that i, I don't think that color means it's like actually smelting because yeah see how it's sort of like a uh i don't know hold on we'll, we'll put this guy on here and we'll see what it does because, I, I, yeah, I imagine this is just going to, like, either void it or it won't do anything with it. But we'll, we'll, we'll wait. Oh, yeah. Oh, it just disappeared. Um, okay, well, we'll put the cobble back on. Um, yeah. So, I'll probably process a few stacks. Um, at least mow through this stuff. Just because I, I don't want to get all the way up there by, like, building up and then just not have, uh, not have the stuff. I'm also curious as to whether it emits light as if it's daytime. Like, I don't know if it's going to spit out light into this room and hopefully solve this whole, like, uh, dark roof problem. Um, we'll see. Oh, chickens. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hold on. Hold on. Chickens. Chickens. Boom. Oh. Oh, no. Might, might have some server lag. You know what? I forgot to press record. <laughs> uh, that was a little bit dangerous because uh, I, I was really into it <laughs> while it was happening. We just killed an enderman. Uh, it happened off camera. It happened here. Um, it, was, it was quite scary. It spawned in the mine and I sort of like went and hit it and had it bring itself back up. Um, another thing, of course, it happened. Oh, this happened off camera. As you saw, I fed this guy again. We have the 10, 10 chickens. Um, of course it happens off camera. I, we were, we were getting there. Okay. It was happening. Right. I did. I didn't just cut the camera to, to skip uh, what? Nothing. Right. Anyhow, we're breeding a bunch of these 10, 10 chickens. These get us um, three nether quartz per chicken. So as we fill this guy up, as you'll see, we get 15 nether quartz each. We've got a lot of nether quartz. We do not need more nether quartz. We, we simply do not. Um, but we've got them. Um, also, I, I, I'll be honest. I, oh, you know, I think we made the, the skyblock stuff before it crashed. I'm pretty sure that happened. Um, otherwise we've got that. <laughs> That's a thing. Uh, let's fill this guy up with uh, a bunch of nether quartz. Um, and obviously we've got, uh, cobble being smelted so that we can make more sky stone so that we can hopefully fill up that roof with sky stone this episode. Um, so hopefully we can do that. I imagine we can. Two stacks. How many do you think we need? Oh, you know what? <gasps> oh, hold on. Ah, uh, you know what? I'll wait for the stone. I'm going to go use the uh, the tape measure and see if we can uh, do that from below. Okay, tape measure. 
can I? Ah, uh, I don't think I can do like long distance clicks. Like I can click from here, but like as you can see, I, it's basically wherever I touch. So I can't really get away with it, I guess. Um, unfortunately. Okay. Well, anyway, um, we've got three stacks. It's probably not enough, but we can we can head up there and give it a shot. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. Um, oh yeah, that's a, a half slab. I don't know. I don't really know what I'm doing. <laughs> I don't know if that's pretty obvious. Like, should I break a level or should I have grabbed the builder's wand? I think I should have. And I should just like builder's wand it, right? Hold on, hold on. Let's, um, yeah, let's crook this. That makes sense. Um, and I'll grab the builder's wand so that we can hopefully do this a little bit easier. Maybe. So I'll grab this, that, you know, offhand, eat this, place blocks, bingo, bango. We're good. Yeah. Okay. So this roof over here. If I grab my wand out, should all be Skystone. The problem is going to be these. And I don't know the best way to get that unless I like uh, somehow mine it all. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure how to do this. I'll tell you what, we made a bunch of this accidentally. Let's go around the roof and just like pick this stuff up. You know what I mean? Just get rid of all of these um things dangling on the roof. I, I, I think that's the play. Okay. I believe we are good now. I believe I've chopped all that stuff. And so we should be able to, uh, it, mm, this is going to be a little bit messy, but do essentially that. That is the general idea. That's the sky block there. So this should work too, as well as, yeah. And then these are slabs. Okay. So let, let, let's consult what we've done so far. Let's head on down here <laughs> and see what we're looking at. Um, because yeah. Okay. Okay. So there's going to be some gaps to get, but I mean, is this, is this going to be cool? I don't, I don't even know if it will be, I guess. Yeah. We'll wrap it around everything. It, it might be cool. Am I, I'll tell you what I'll, I'll be back. Okay. So few things. First thing is the grass has spread, which looks absolutely beautiful. This area looks nice already. We still need to figure out what we're doing for the outsides. Like I want to put water there, but it's like, how do I, how do I dig it up? so that it looks nice. You know what I mean? Like, what do I have to do? Um, so I've sort of been thinking that. And this is what the roof looks like currently. And I'll admit, I'm not the biggest fan of it at the moment. Now, it looks pretty gross because I guess it's raining in this hypothetical, theoretical sky. Um, I could sleep, but obviously it's like, I, I mean, it looks like it's still daytime. And of course, people are on the server, so it wouldn't be that easy. But um, yeah, so it looks gross at the moment, but I think that's just the time of day or the weather or whatever. So hopefully that looks nice when it's actually just sunny. I'm thinking we do need to push it further. The problem at the moment is that's really annoying to do. Like even just doing this was so tedious. I'm like scaffolding around. It's just not worth it. I think until we get either, um, uh, this thing, I was trying to think of the name. Um, this thing. Oh, I also hear someone that might or might not have a, uh, what do you call it? What's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> I'm struggling a bit. Um, a lead for us. Um, yeah, if we get our hands on this thing, we can fly. Or I imagine there's jetpacks. Okay, there's some like hydrogen jetpacks that we could do. But um, but yeah, so that's where we're at currently. Um, where is where is this guy? I hear him, but oh, here he is. Okay. Oh, ooh, he doesn't have any uh any leads with him. Okay. What has he got though? Oh, okay. So he's got heads. I imagine of people that have um I don't know probably helped make the pack. I'd imagine. Uh, so look through here, lots of different things. He's very loud. I don't know if he's loud for you guys, but he's very loud for me. We might also grab some of this other stuff like cactus and whatnot, just because, I, I mean, in terms of emeralds, I think we're good. Like, I think we've got a lot of them. Um, so we might as well spend them, right? We're not really using them for anything else, at least at the moment. So I'll grab a stack and I'll just go ham and like buy everything he's got. Um, for the rest of this episode, I don't know how long it's been because I, I've had a few breaks in between as I've, as I've been doing stuff. Um, but... <laughs> <laughs> Where am I going with this? Uh, yeah, sure. We'll get a fern. We'll get tomato seeds. Yep. Grab that. Sure. I'll grab this. Uh, yep. One of the, yep. Okay. You, you can stop making the same noises. <laughs> I'll grab the heads. We don't necessarily need them, but I'll grab them. Why not? He's very loud. All right. Wandering Trader. I'm just going to go ahead and mute him. He's, he's a little bit too loud for me. I, I can't handle it at the moment. <laughs> uh, but we have all this stuff, which is fun. So I, I don't know. We can slap it around somewhere. Oh, look at him. Actually, you know what? We probably want to put this not in our room that we use quite often. <laughs> I don't know what we're doing. I'll, I think that's pretty, pretty evident at this point. All right. And the rest of this junk um, can pretty much just go in here for the most part. Yeah. Okay. So what are we doing for the rest? Um, 
Well, what I want to do is I still want to try and get this quest done where we crossbreed the chicken, which means I want to get my hands on that yellow chicken. Um, so to do that, we're going to want some bone meal. Now, we've got one on us. We could get perfectly lucky, or we could not, and it looks like we didn't. Um, but that's, that's essentially the idea of what we're going to do here. Um, oh, I need to hold a tool, right? So yeah, there we go. Um, so we'll, we'll keep doing our thing. We'll, we'll, we'll keep working on it. Oh, grass seeds. Awesome. So we're going to get like more of those. Um... And yeah, we should have plenty of bone meal over here in the chest. So I'm going to farm, hopefully, some dandelions. Um, that'll get us the yellow dye needed to make the uh, the chicken we want. So that should, that should be really easy. So I'll grab out a stack of bone meal. And we'll run back over here and I'll uh, I'll do this for a little bit. Until, I guess until we get our, our thing. Um, now, I am a little concerned because, as you can see, so far, not so good. We haven't gotten a single flower, which makes me sort of question whether or not we can even get flowers doing this. I... You know what? I don't think you can. Now we are in a plains biome, so that that shouldn't that shouldn't be a problem. I'm pretty sure they spawn in plains biomes. Um, but it's clear. I mean, it's not doing it at, at all. So let's instead let's look again. Dandelion. Oh, we have to crook a gl a grass block. Okay, that that makes a lot more sense. Yeah, but we oh, and then we can botany pot it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So grass blocks. Obviously, there's grass seeds that we can use. Was there a better alternative? Not, not particularly, not, unless we got our hands on some manipulation essence. That, that's a lot of work. I, I think I know what we need to do though, right? Um, so, what I need to do is I need to make an anvil and I need to use um, one of our Silk Touch books on it, right? So that we can get, a, get our hands on Silk Touch. And that should be pretty easy. Um, it's got to be like a vanilla tool, you know what I mean? Because I don't think I can enchant Tinker tools. We can try. I mean, it's just a bunch of iron, right? So it's, that, that should be doable. Because, um, yeah, we've got another Silk Touch there. Um, alternatively, I think you can use, like, brass and stuff and make Silk Touch for Tinker tools. But we'll, we'll, we'll see what we do. So um, for now, what I want to do is make stacks and stacks and stacks of iron as much as it'll let us. Beautiful. Then we're going to turn most of this. I think, what, it's just like three blocks. One, two, three. I think so. And then it looks a little something from memory like this. Anvil. Perfect. Um, so this guy, he can go there. Why not? And first of all, does this work? No. See, it's not going to let us apply it like that. Um, so we're just going to need to get a vanilla um, tool, which means, obviously, we, we just want, uh, what should I call it? A shovel of, of some sort. So I'll just grab that out. Um, we'll have to go grab a stick. We don't. Apparently, we don't have any of those lying around. Um, normally, we have a bunch on us, like a bunch of literally everything, but... I guess not this time. Um, I guess we'll take the oak. Sure. <laughs> we'll, we'll hold on to oak for a little bit. Grab sticks. Beautiful. Oh, wrong thing. Open this. And voila. Diamond shovel. Okay. <laughs> we're, we're getting there. So I'll probably... I probably will pick up that grass. I, I don't think that's necessarily a bad idea. So, so we probably will do that. Uh, let's chuck silk touch on. Yeah. Yeah, we've got an extra book. So even if this isn't the play, I think it's still fine. Um, so we will obviously want to, uh, fill this up with dirt when we're done as well. And then put some more grass seeds on, which should be easy. In the meantime, wait, 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 you know, what? I'm not smart as, at all. We don't even need this. <laughs> we just need a crook it, right? Okay. L listen, listen, I'm, I'm clearly dumb. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. But, but either way, it's fine. Like it, it doesn't matter. We didn't waste anything, I guess. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all the flowers we need, which means I can probably just replace all this or making it easier. Do a little bit of that. Beautiful. Um, obviously, we need to torch this area up because it's suddenly got very, very dark. We'll go ahead and do that. Beautiful. Okay, so now, what do we do with these flowers? Well, <sighs> good question, to be honest, because, yeah, we need about 20 dye. We can mill it and we'll get a decent amount, but it's going to be a chance to not get the full amount. I think what we do is we put one of these uh, in the botany pot. And we just hope we get lucky in terms of that. Um, and then for the rest of this stuff, I think I will chuck it in the millstone and just hope because there is that extra percentage chance. We genuinely might get enough from this. It's physically possible. It's just a matter of, I don't know, whether we're lucky enough. Um, worst case, I mean, we just, you know, crook up uh, the rest of that stuff and, and plant more grass. Like, it's it's honestly not that big of a deal. Um, oh, here we go. So it's already done. The process is pretty fast. And we only got 12, so it only doubled. We didn't get any, any bonus. Um, that's fine. You know what? Yeah. I don't, I don't really feel like waiting. We're just going to rip this up as well. So I'm going to go and do this. There we go. Looks like we pretty much got everything. Um, we can go ahead and place as much as it'll let us. 
And obviously it looks like we need a little bit more. So let's open this guy. Oh yeah, we don't really have the inventory for this, do we? I mean, we can try, but oh, we're almost. Yeah, ah, oh, yeah, just poppies that didn't make it in. Um, what did I just put away as well? I feel like I put away something I need, you know, the mob souls can come back. Dandelion. Uh, oh, grass seeds, that's what I was gonna grab. I was gonna grab these and place those at least around. We did have a little bit of grass left over. We didn't vein mine at all, at least. Uh, we'll put that away, grab this, grab that, grab this, offhand, and voila. And then hopefully this guy's safe. Yep, just hop out, yep. There we go, and he's safe. And once again, torches. Okay, beautiful. Everything's going wonderfully. <laughs> so we'll get these these flowers uh, cooked up in here as well. So we'll open this up, chuck them in. Oh, was that only four or was that 14? I think it was only four, wasn't it? Oh no, we're getting a lot. Oh, oh, purely, okay, but I think it was four and we just, oh yeah, well we doubled it. That makes sense, I guess. Sure, um, either way, we have exactly what we need, which is always a good sign. So we go ahead and place all this stuff here. Then we need just a traditional Minecraft egg. We should have some in here, beautiful. And we will place this smack bang in the middle and we should get ourselves exactly what we want, which is awesome. Um, this guy over here, by the way, has farmed us a bunch of uh, these tier 10 out of 10 out of 10 out of 10 chickens. And we can fill up 16 in there. And in terms of how fast they generate quartz, if I take out a stack, look at that, 47 <laughs> that quickly, ridiculous. Um, so yeah, anyhow, this guy is done. He should plop on the ground. There we go. Yellow chicken. Beautiful. Um, obviously we want to, uh, do some breeding here. So yellow chicken and nether quartz chicken, I believe is what we wanted to do. And then we want to chuck in a seed. So we'll go ahead and I guess, uh, yeah, I guess we'll grab this seed. Why not? Chuck this in there and they will start breeding. I, I believe that's, yeah. Nether quartz chicken and yellow chicken should get us a glowstone chicken. Uh, the glowstone chicken we could combine to make a nether quartz chicken if we wanted to. Um, but regardless, we will have our hands on what we want. Um, now, in terms of continuing breeding, I guess, yeah, I guess we just leave them in again with another seed and, that, and that'll get us the second uh, glowstone one. And then we can start working on their stats as well, right? So that should work pretty well. Let's grab this seed in preparation, chuck him in there. Um, and yeah, just a little bit of patience. So how's this guy doing? Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, do, 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 do. I'm trying to think, is there anything else we want to do? I mean, we haven't really done any quests this episode, but I mean, I guess it's, as long as we get this chicken done, that'll be one quest done. And then that'll pretty much be, well, all this chicken stuff so far. I don't know if there's plans to make this uh, chicken quest line any bigger, um, but, oh, yellow chicken. Oh, okay. So there's still a chance that you just get the same chicken back. Well, I'll tell you what, sadly, I don't need this guy. So I'm going to place him right there. And I happen to know a guy. <laughs> yeah, I happen to know a guy that can... Uh, do what needs to be done. By the way, I was a little while ago. Oh, oh, I think he picked up the chicken. A little while ago, I was tempted to make like a little fox be my like um. You know how like everyone, every YouTuber has like a thing, right? I was gonna have like a little fox that followed me around, but I don't know. I can never, I can never figure out how to get them to tame. Even when I like feed them berries and like two of them uh, mate or whatever, the little ones never my, never my pet. So I, I don't know. I've got to, yeah. Th this guy's the closest I'll ever get. <laughs> this little dude stuck in this little pit that I sacrifice. The, what? Uh, chickens too. Still more yellow chickens. What am I doing wrong here? Um, yellow chicken and nether quartz chicken. Cool. Oh, it's a 20% chance. I didn't even see that. Okay, 20. Okay, yeah, sure. So there's a chance we get it. There's a chance we don't. Um, obviously more breeders would make this a little bit more profitable in terms of uh, sitting here waiting. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Hmm. What can we do in terms of automating? Realistically, if we want to automate this stuff, like guaranteed there'd be a way to automate it. It would be with integrated dynamics, but it looks like we don't really have that. Um, logic, yeah, we don't really have um, integrated dynamics. Okay, what's this thing? Blood magic, very interesting. Um, so instead, I don't really know. He jumped out. <laughs> what are you doing little dude? Yeah, he jumped out of the pit. Oh, oh, he stole my iron bars as well. What's he doing? He doesn't... <laughs> okay, okay. As long as he doesn't die. I'm I'm fine with him jumping around. More nether quartz chickens. Um, yeah, I don't know. We'll... I guess we'll just leave this until... I don't know. It's until it's done, I guess. How can we automate it? I'm, I'm really trying to think real quick. Um, 
I don't think there's an easy way to automate it without integrated dynamics because how do you know when it's fully, when it's a 10 out of 10 out of 10, right? No, yeah, yeah I, I don't really know about that. I'll tell you what, we're, we're in a bit of a waiting game here. I, I've got an idea. I've got a brilliant idea. I'm going to grab a stack of wheat. We're going to turn it all into seeds. One of the seeds I'm going to chuck in here so that we're, you know, actually getting something that we use. The rest of these flowers can sit there. Um, I'm going to fill this guy up with seeds, right? So that he can keep doing his thing. Oh, actually, this should be fine. Yeah, because there's a third slot for the potential uh, offspring. I'm going to leave this as it is. I'm going to potentially make um, a another item. Uh, which one was it? It was a storage item. And it was this guy, the pocket storage. I want to see if we can make this guy. Yeah, yeah, he should be doable. And the reason I want to do all of this is because I want to go mining. I want to try to get to the other the other areas. I don't know where we're going to go. I don't know whether we go this way maybe or or, or what. But I, I want to reach, you know, the, the, the edge. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, because if we can start getting stone and stuff, that'd be good. In terms of back and forth, how will I get back? Do we have... Oh, well, actually, I think I do know, right? Because there is um, another item we can get called the tally pad. It was in here. Or the temp pad, sorry. Temp pads use to teleport from one place to another. Run program at a location and you'll be able to teleport to it from anywhere. Three minute cooldown. That sounds awesome. We need a beacon. We don't... <laughs> we don't have that. We don't have beacon technology. Um, so that's not happening. Uh, at least for a while. So, I mean, that's, that's sort of my only real plan to get back and forth. Um, oh, there is the slash home. Now, I'm playing on a server, which means I do have slash home and all of that sort of stuff. Um, but I I would like to make this little block. We can we can pretty much afford it. Polished deep slate um, is obviously deep slate. But the question is, how do I get deep slate? Um, <sighs> igneous extruder or... Yeah, igneous extruder or an end stone. I don't really want to do that. But I, I feel like that's going to be like the way to do it, right? Deep Slate, Cobbled Deep Slate, Cobbled Deep Slate. You know what? I'm pretty sure there's a Deep Slate part to the map. So, yeah. I I'll tell you what. We'll grab enough of that little ameth amethyst block. We don't have Danks in this pack, do we? No. At Dank. No, I don't, think I don't think we've had those for a little while. Um, all right. We'll open this. I'll grab one, two, three, four. Awesome. We'll put that away. Um, what is this stuff? Why do I keep picking things up? All right. Well, we've got this stuff. I mean, uh, there's more junk on me. Most of what we're going to be mining is just cobble, which I don't need to bring back anyway. So, I also don't want to drop it on the ground, though. That's my problem, because, like, I am playing on a server. Um, oh, I don't know what to do. How do I how do I do this, then? Um, oh, yeah, the pocket storage, sorry. Th this was actually really easy to craft. I don't know why I... Yeah, I don't know why I got, like, completely sidetracked by all that stuff. Um, all, uh, all the stuff we need is over here. <laughs> the cobble, the iron, and the redstone should be over here. Um, we've obviously hopefully got enough wood on us. Um, redstone, we'll grab out a stack. Um, we've got a stack of iron on us. Um, stack of cobble. Uh, yeah, we'll grab that stack, for sure. Um, oh, 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 oh. And I believe we're good to go. So, first things first, we need a chest to go in the middle. Second thing second, we're going to need some uh, pistons. Two of them to be exact. Oh, perfect. Um, why was that perfect? Because of the planks. Awesome. Um, and then, we have ourselves a pocket unit storage. Uh... Tier 1. Now, this will hold 255 of each item, and it will void excess and stuff. It's pretty good. To upgrade this guy, we would need more chests, more piston, and some gold. To be honest, easily done. We're going to do that. Um, obviously, I need some planks. We're going to need, I think it was two chests. So, we'll grab two chests. Hopefully, that's uh, accurate. And then, we'll go ahead and upgrade to... Oh, pistons, yeah. One, two. Beautiful. Uh, storage tier 2. Wonderful. Um, tier 3. The exact same thing, just with some diamonds. We can arrange that, I think. Oh, we need a little bit more wood, um, but we can grab the diamonds out. Um, we, need, we need a few more chests. Oh, you know what? I was going to say we don't really have any wood. We actually do, because we left this guy making uh, spruce that, that entire time um, in between episodes and whatnot. So, we should have everything we need. Open this guy. Um, I'll turn all of these into... Ch oh, actually, we needed pistons, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think so. Um, so, tier three, two pistons... One, two, beautiful. And voila. So this guy, by the way, um, tier two stores 4,095 in each slot. And by the way, it goes from eight slots to 16. And then this next tier goes to 32 slots and 65,000 in each. So that sounds pretty good. And the next tier does an insane amount, but it needs nether stars. And well, guess what? <laughs> I do not have nether stars, but we can open this guy up. We can put in cobble, 
spruce, planks, dirt, other planks, and this should work pretty well. Now, in terms of placing blocks and stuff, I don't think it does that. I think it's just sort of like pocket storage, right? Um, which is pretty cool. So, where are we at? Where, where are we at with this? I reckon, I reckon, uh, we take some diamonds with and a bunch of uh, stick potential. The reason I'm thinking this is because if our hammer breaks, we can make more. Uh, I think, yeah, I think it needs like cobble, right? It needs like stone, stone thingies. So I think we're good. I think, I believe we're ready. I I'm pretty confident. Sneak right click on a chest to deposit, sneak right click to withdraw, or sneak left click to withdraw or whatever. Um, cool. The only other thing I would say would be uh, uh, torches that I'm sort of now realizing we probably want um, more of. But regardless, I think we're ready. <laughs> so in terms of the direction, I think I'm gonna go this way um, just to keep that other area as a, uh, a chance block zone. And what we can try is if I do small tunnel, it will mine, hmm. Or it's meant to, oh yeah, it's because it's stone, it doesn't do it. All right, so we're, we're literally just gonna have to do this the whole way. Um, I can press F7 and it shows me nothing, awesome. Um, but I can press it, so that's fun. I guess just whenever it gets dark, I'll do this. So, um, I'll tell you what, I'll keep doing this for a little while <laughs> and then, I, I don't know, I, I'm really not too sure. Um, what was I waiting on as well? Oh yeah, the breeding. That, that chicken's probably done as well. Um, it's fine. It's fine. I'll keep doing this. I might not even place torches. I might just go in a straight line and I'll meet you guys. Uh, I guess once I meet, meet uh, Deep Slate, because I think that's what we're after, right? Yeah, I can't see anything right now. Whoa, whoa hold on, hold on. Oh, it was a loopy. I looked at the minimap and I'm like, why is there a bee? Like, oh my God, we've somehow uncovered a bee. No, no, it's, it's, uh, it's not real. I mean, it is real, but you get the idea. Um, so yeah, I will meet you guys, hopefully, at a new thing. It's, uh, hold on. How, how long will this take? <laughs> Sorry, wait one second. 20 block tall slice below that. Oh, okay, so I need to dig down to get to deep slate, sure. And then to get to the nether, it's 1,000 blocks. So, I, yeah, hold on. So that's a long mining trip that I don't want to do. There's better tools we can use for that. So, I actually want to be mining down if I want to get to deep slate at least. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> sure, sure. And as you can see, we're picking all this stuff up and it's all just going in here. How cool is that? I reckon it's very cool. Um, okay, so yeah, we need to dig down and I believe we have a mine uh, somewhere. Did I cover it up? Oh yeah, yeah. We sort of, <laughs> we built a structure around it. It's like, a, it's, it's, a, it's a big thing. Um... I think we were pretty close to our deep slate. In fact, we might have... No, oh yeah, we reached, uh, what do you call it, andesite. And then we, we didn't quite get to a uh, deep slate. All right, now the benefit of uh, andesite, as you can see, is we are allowed to ultimine it. Which means, in theory, it should dig a beautiful tunnel system. Now, it's broken our tool, but we got deep slate, which we don't even see yet because it literally it dug all the way down. It, it did 64 blocks. Uh, in this direction as a mine. So as you can see, yeah, deep slate. So we've done the stone layer. We've gotten uh, pretty much all we wanted. This goes very deep. Wow. Wow, we, I'm surprised we mined that far. Listen, hey, it's pretty incredible what uh, Ultimine can do. That is insane. Um, cool. Well, there's no reason to come down here. <laughs> but we're here. <laughs> so um, I'll, I'll head back up. It's, it's fine. Um, yeah, awesome, wonderful. How are we looking for everything? Yeah, everything is looking pretty good. So we've got deep slate now. So what what were we making? Does anybody actually remember what we were making with the deep slate? Because I do not. <laughs> I, do, I do not know what we were making. Um, blaze powder? Was there a way to get blaze? Hmm. It, we combined it with something. That's what the recipe was. It was you combine it with something and it gives you something else. Incredible t technology. Um, I'll be back once I figure out what that was. This was it. Wait, no, 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 no. sorry. <laughs> so, sorry, sorry, sorry. This was it, the hearthstone, this guy here. Block of amethyst and polished, uh, polished deep slate. That makes sense, yeah. I don't, hmm, okay. I, I know what we need to do. I think, I think next episode is gonna be uh, electricity because we need, pr most likely, one of these guys, a destruction gadgets, uh, gadget. These guys are insane, but they also need power, which we don't really have at the moment. Um, they'll also need another ender pearl, which I also don't have at the moment. That could be a problem. Because, I mean, well, we don't have it. Um, and, and I was going to use that guy 
to get where we need to go, that might not be the best option anymore. We might want to instead make a, uh, a better tinker tool, to be completely honest, because we've got plenty of redstone to make it faster. We've got, yeah, I mean, I mean, that's pretty much it. We've got plenty of, uh, plenty of redstone. So we'll look into that. Let, let me know, what should I make my tool out of? Because I mean, there's a lot of uh, things you can make your tinker tools out of. What's the best for durability and speed? Because I just want to go straight, like, like, like speed, I'm thinking I just chuck a bunch of uh, redstone on the tool um, because that gives it haste. Um, but in terms of, um, why, is he, why is he making sounds? Um, but in terms of durability, I, I we, we need to be durable. So it's, I, I, or I could just do stone and bring this thing with me and just like keep repairing it. We'll see, we'll see. Um, will we see or will I do that now? Let's see. Oh, glowstone chicken, beautiful. Let's go ahead and chuck that in there with, um, Sure, the nether quartz chicken. Uh, the rest of this stuff, I'll tell you what, I don't need them. I, I, I simply do not. So I'm just going to place them all down here and let them do their thing. And as you can see, this guy's going to uh, do what needs to be. Oh, you know what? I actually do kind of want at least one yellow chicken. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Stop eating all my chickens. Oh, oh God. I just, oh, I keep missing it. Oh my God, he's eating them all. <laughs> he's literally, he's eating them all. <laughs> uh, okay, okay, we've got, we've got some. We've got some. We're fine. Everything's fine. Oh my god, I don't know if you saw that. He was floating perfectly. Um, so yeah, th this guy's going to get us some glowstone chickens. Sure, wonderful. I just want to see it happen. Come on, glowstone. Nope, nether quartz. Awesome, wonderful. Don't need that. Um, in the meantime, let's try and make a tinker tool. Uh, for all I know, this episode's excru excruciatingly long. I apologize. Um, but, I mean, we've got stuff to do, right? So, in order to make a uh, tinker hammer, which is kind of what I want, so that we can have like a big tunnel as well. We will need, we can search hammer. We will need to craft it in, I wonder if it says it anywhere. It doesn't really look like it is. Um, but we'll need to do it in a tool forge. That That's where I'm going with this. We'll need actually one of a, huh, a forge. Huh, I don't see it. Uh, oh no, you know, it's called a tinker, tinker's anvil. There we go. And this guy uses blocks. The thing he does though, is he uses, um, like metal that's been combined. So for example, you can use bronze or brass, you know what I mean? Like something that combines two different things. Um, that's why there's all these like special metals. Um, so what special metal do we have? I think we have the ability to make a lot of brass, right? Alternatively, I'm not too sure to be honest. I'm not, I'm not sure what alternatively. Bronze, brass, yeah, bronze, brass, inver, constantin, steel. Um, Because we have copper, plenty of copper. We don't have any tin, so I think what we do is zinc, but we don't really have that much zinc. Oh, you know what? We do. We have, we have enough, is I guess what I'm getting at. So what I'll do here is we'll open this guy up. He's got some brass in him. He's got some zinc and copper. He's actually just out of la uh, lava at the moment. But we'll uh, we'll smelt this stuff up. Um, I think what we do is this and this pretty much. And yeah, we'll alloy all this stuff together. We'll get a bunch of brass and we'll use it. So that's one block. Nice. <laughs> Honestly, I'm pretty sure the rest of these will alloy into uh, more than enough, I would imagine. Copper, zinc, they're combining into brass. We've already got we've already got the two blocks we need. Easy. Um, now I'm just thinking, we also need seared stone. And I have a feeling that we like used it all, right? Like I, I don't think we have uh, seared lying around. Um, oh, is that allowing me to search? S E we have gravel. <laughs> we have compressed gravel. Um, I'll have a look. We can obviously make some. It's, it's not that big of a deal, but it would kind of be nicer if we already had it, I guess. It would save me a little bit of uh, thinking and whatnot, which uh, we all know that's painful. Um, seed brick. Beautiful. Wonderful. Our day's saved. We need, I think, just four. And then we'll also need to pick up the tinker station that we have here. And then, voila. Oh, oh, oh. Boom. Tinker's anvil made of a block of brass. Pretty cool. So, inside here, we can now make a, uh, a hammer. A sledgehammer is what we want. That'll do a, a three by three, hopefully. We need a hammerhead, a tough handle, large plate, large plate. So, what's this going to look like? <laughs> um, what's this? Part builder. I, uh, yeah, we've got to put stencils in. That makes sense. Um, give me a second. Okay, stencils are in. Um, what I want to do is I still want to do the tool handle. I think I want to do the tool handle. I might. Hold on. Let me just consult paper. <laughs> if that's a thing. Let me just let me just have a quick look. 
because, um, one second. In the past, paper, making a piece of your tool out of paper allowed you to add an extra modifier. And that, and that will come in handy later if that is a thing. So if I place this in here, no, it doesn't even look like it's a, a, a usable material. Uh, for whatever reason, so that's unlucky. Um, we'll just do this. I'll just grab the handle. Now, it needs to be a tough handle that's going to use some more resources, and so will the rest of this stuff. So large plates, I want to make these out of stone. Now, we can do deep slate, or we can do cobble, or we can do we can even do andesite. That's crazy. Does anything change? Nothing's changing. Um, yeah, material value, andesite. Hover over the entries for more information. My, my curiosity is, can I repair it with anything? Because I want to be able to repair it with just cobble. Because, like, we've obviously got a bunch of cobble in here that we can use. And we, and we can even store more in there if we need to. Um, I reckon we just be safe. Obviously, the deep slate looks cooler. We'll just do this. And I know we can use metals, but we've constantly got cobble. So, I think cobble's just better. Uh, I could be wrong. I obviously could be wrong. So, we'll craft two uh, large plates. Then we need a hammerhead. We'll get one of those. I'll also make it out of cobble. Why not? Then we'll go in here. Hammer. Obviously, you guys let me know if you have a, a way better tool that we can make. But regardless, we have ourselves a stone sledgehammer. Here it is. It's beautiful. So, how does it work? Well, we can run over here. Um, yeah. I mean, you can already see. It's going to mine a 3x3. Three three. It's pretty cool. So, how do we get it to go faster? Well, if I chuck it in here and we chuck a diamond on it, that'll make it diamond tier. So, we'll be able to mine everything. You can also see the durability and everything skyrockets, which is really cool. Um... Then what do we do? Well, we have another option. One is we can put an emerald on it. That'll increase its durability by, I think, 50%. So could be worth. Uh, unless it's the, they, they might have changed it, by the way. Like, I'm just going off uh, my old knowledge. Um, or we grab a bunch of redstone, which I think is what I'm going to do. So we'll grab out a, a bunch of this. Pretty much as much as uh, I can manage to squeeze into my inventory. If I can slowly take it out. There we go. Uh, we can also turn it into block, I guess. Um, it doesn't really matter. Um, we'll run back over here. And I think I'm just going to fill this guy up with redstone. I, I think that's the play. I, I think that'll that'll be worth it. So uh, the hammer goes back in here. Mining speed is currently 2.4. If I surround this guy with um, redstone here, it's going to go up to a mining speed of 4. So from 2.4 to 4, then it's going to do nothing because we've used all the... the, all the uh, Modifiers. So I guess I had two modifiers, right? One for the diamond, one for haste. Um, it still has an ability slot. Eh. Mining speed four is what we got at the moment. If we want to increase the modifier, I think I would search modifier. Maybe I search hashtag modifier. There are ways to do it. We can look through this list um, in terms of what it would be. I'm not too sure. Um, some of them are... A little bit weird. Like one of them will be like giving it a dragon egg or something. You know what I mean? Uh, so we'll have a quick look. Yeah, so here we go. Um, Draconic gives it a extra ability slot. Um, obviously, that's not what we're really after. Um, allows an additional upgrade to live in harmony with the rest. That's by putting a music disc in there. We might have a music disc. Um, so that's obviously a very interesting option that I probably should look at. Resurrected. Respawns one of the tools upgrade slots. That's with an end crystal, which... We have an end crystal, but it's not in item form. So I, I don't really know if there's a way to pick. Let me know if there's a way to pick up the end crystal we have. Um, because we do have one. Um, Sets this tool ahead by one upgrade. With a head. We have a villager right there who can uh, give us some deals. This is right near the end. So I will keep having a quick look. Yeah, netherite could be a good one to put on there. Writable. More upgrades if I put a book and quill on. That's a, that's a good option. Uh, Near-sided, off-sided. I think that's, yeah, it's about vision it looks like. Um, cool. So, hold on. Uh, I don't have the emeralds on me. <sighs> okay, hopefully he stays there. He should. I, I think he's sort of like sticking with us for a while. He's sort of like squatting down here. And he he'll be our little, uh, buddy for a while. Um, yeah, we'll see what happens. I imagine I can only put one head on. So we'll, uh, we'll start off with two. Um, and I'll grab just these heads because, I don't know, they're just vanilla Steve heads. Uh, you know, worst case we place another one around the joint. It, it shouldn't be a problem. Um, so, in here... We'll increase the upgrade. Yeah, look. Beautiful. If I place two, does it do anything? No, you can only have one. Awesome. Well, hey, I'll take it. Nice. So now we can put in our redstone again, and we're going to go from mining speed of four to 5.6. Beautiful. Now we need another thing. What was the other option? It was going to be... I've, come, I've forgotten. I've forgotten what it was going to be. Uh, let's go in here. It was close to the end, so we can probably go backwards. 
Yeah, it was going to be not the end crystal. It was going to be a music disc if we had one of those. And I, I thought we got one from a reward. I could be wrong, obviously. And it's sort of looking like I am. Yeah, it's definitely looking like that. Okay, but well, hey, at least we know what to look out for, right? If we happen to see, like, I don't know, music, we won't just, like, turf it. Is there a craftable one? No. Um, well, we tried. <laughs> End crystal. This guy as well, he needs, yeah, gas here. So we need, like, a gas chicken, <laughs> which is a blaze chicken and a bowman. Hmm, okay. Yeah, yeah. All right, all right, all right. Well, for now, regardless, this guy's pretty good. He's going to get the job done. He's going to do a good job. I could chuck this on. No, I can't. I lied. Um, but yeah, awesome. So, in terms of our inventory, realistically, I don't need to empty it because I can just put everything in this guy. Like, even this uh, deep slate, we can chuck that in there too. Some stone or andesite or whatever. Sure, it can go in there. Now, <laughs> is this a viable option? By the way, we obviously need food. I'll bring beetroot. Why not? Just in case we need that extra little bit of sustenance. <laughs> but we're not looking too good on food, to be completely honest. Ah, we'll bring golden carrots too. Um, let, let's, let's, yeah. Let's, let's see what we do. So, back here. This is obviously our hedge, uh, sledgehammer. Um, hold on. Hold on. I need to craft my home button, right? So, give me a second. Grab you, grab you, grab you, grab you. You're going to turn into you. Which turns into no, no. You stay as you are. You go there, there. Uh, not you. You, 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 you. With you, you. Boom. Teleport player to their personal spawn point, or if enabled, the world spawn. Cool. This should hopefully take me where we want to go. The hearthstone is bound to your respawn, uh, your your respawn point. We don't have a bed, so I don't know where my respawn point is. We'll find out. <laughs> we'll find out. Um. So yeah, that, that should be nice. I'll chuck that in there, and I'll meet you guys at the end of this, honestly, quite short tunnel. Alright, in terms of speed, this is the speed of this uh, tool. This is the speed of the uh, other tool. Arguably, the other one is faster, <laughs> as it currently stands. Um, which is a little bit unfortunate, I guess. Um, yeah, a little bit unlucky. It's fine. I mean, yeah, it's fine. Oh, you know what, though? I think I get it. Yeah, 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 I, I think I get it. We need to go down to Andesite. Because then we can strip mine, and we can do it so much faster. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So many of you probably realized this um, just by simply thinking. I, 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 had to, I had to, like, stop talking for a second and, like, really think about what I'm doing. And yeah, that's, that's, that's really easy. Um, so, we've got to go down, I think, about 50 blocks. Um, maybe, yeah, yeah, about 50 blocks. Arguably, it can just be a normal staircase. We don't need to be doing what I'm doing right now, but I, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. We also didn't bring a way to uh, repair our tool, which is also pretty dumb. And the longer I keep doing this means the further back I have to run to repair our tool, which is annoying, but I keep going <laughs> and I will keep going for, for whatever reason. We didn't even repair our pickaxe. So we, we've really just like made a horrible decision and we're just sticking with it. That looks horrendous. That looks like an Oculus logo. And that looks really cool. So, um, by the way, uh, for exploration, you guys were telling me I should probably, like, enchant and, and whatnot in order to uh, go through these dungeons. Not a bad idea. We don't even have netherite yet. So, so definitely some work we have to do. Um, oh, but yeah, here we go. Hold on. So, this is andesite, as you can see. I'm in mining tunnel. I want to go to small tunnel. It will mine like that is that not insanity how crazy is that and then we just run and it's a lot more of a fast experience how cool is that and so if you lived in this area expanding like your your residence would be insane look at the durability though it does uh take a kick out of my hammer to say the least um 100 i should have brought something to, to repair the stuff but once again as you heard earlier didn't really do much thinking uh, yep, there it is. It's broken. Um, I will light up the tunnel because we don't want to come down here and there be mobs. You know what I mean? <laughs> I wonder, by the way. Oh, look at that. That's a pretty big dungeon on the map. Um, do we even see... We still don't even see anything. I guess, yeah, a thousand blocks. We're only about, um, a third of the way through. Yeah, look at this thing. There's some crazy stuff. Dripstone? Yeah, okay. Plain... Uh, what's this? Stone bricks. What's this stuff over here? TNT room. A water room. Azalea. There's a lot going on. Because, um, yeah, 
If I brought the thing, we could do that. Oh, you know what? We have the stuff. We have exactly what we need. I can craft it right here. We are going to need patterns. Boom. Then we need a tinker station. Which needs planks. <laughs> uh, well, oh no, it needs, yeah, yeah. We're going to need a crafting table first. So, sorry. Bear with me. Yep. Oh, oh God. Pressing all the wrong buttons. Boom, 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 boom. Tinker station, everybody. That means I can chuck this down. I can place this guy in there. Fill him up with cobble and repair him. Beautiful. <laughs> like genuinely, like how cool is that? Um, and then we are right back in it. Oh, you know what? I should repair my pickaxe so that we don't have to slowly mine that again. Okay, well, I'll tell you what. Sounds like a good idea to get back to it. Um, as you can see, this is working pretty well. It is going to drain our hunger a lot, which is honestly a problem because it's going to be really annoying eating those beetroots I brought. Um, well, and you know what? We've got golden carrots. That'll be fine. Um, but yeah, every 64 blocks, nice and simple. I will meet you guys, hopefully, at, at least the nether. I want to get to the nether this episode. I, I understand that a lot of this is going to happen off camera. Um, and this episode is probably over, over time anyway, in terms of what I want to do for these episodes. But uh, regardless, I'll meet you guys at the end. Or at the nether. Sorry, not the end. <laughs> the end is very far away. Oh, have a look at this. We're reaching uh, the border. Or, yeah, yeah, or at least it looks like the border. And there's a lot going on. This over here is a lush cave with some... Ochrum. There's some uh, some limestone down here. Some blocks of amethyst. Some tuff. Granite. There's a lot going on. Gravel. Okay. Um, interesting. I don't know how to feel about this uh, area that we're about to get into, but it's, it should be fine. As you can, this stuff's insane. Um, so yeah. By the way, um, make sure you do set up like a, a portable storage unit if you are going to be doing these like uh, strip minings and stuff, because um. We're playing on a server. If I were to leave the stuff I dropped, that would be thousands of blocks already. Um, let alone if everyone was doing that, the server would uh, have problems. Um, and in terms of like punishment and stuff for that, we'll, we'll literally ban you. Um, th there's no sort of like... Like if, you, if you're just actively just doing something dumb, um, yeah, we, we, we don't really deal with that. Um, yeah. Um, we've also reached a weird spot where there's like alternating stuff. I don't know if this is done intentionally to stop us in our tracks, um, but it's working. This is uh, very annoying to say the least. Ooh, ores, fluorite. Very odd. Okay. Um, first of all, is there a fluorite thing that we can make? There is. We would have to make a, uh, a budding fluorite and that needs uh, blaze powder. Um, to make this, we would need at least a bit of fluorite to begin with. So I will go ahead and mine all this stuff. Just to like have it, you know what I mean? So we don't have to run all the way back down here in the future. 56 fluorite, sounds good to me. I'll, I'll continue on my way. I'm satisfied. <laughs> and we'll wait until we, I guess, reach something else. Oh, we've reached uh, another resource. Uranonite pour. We're going to go ahead and uh, ulti mine that up as well. Um, in terms of the storage, tough can go in there, I guess. Um, realistically, we can put like ores in here. There's, there's no reason not to, I guess. Um, ah, we don't need to yet. Oh, we've reached uh, clay as well. Sure, we'll ulti mine it. <laughs> Why not? Um, in terms of storage of the clay, we'll do that. And that should, or at least it should have picked up everything. Yep, there we go. Um, yeah. As you can see on the map, by the way, this place is uh, not the friendliest. We're also, we're still so far away. The fact that we're here is really annoying me. I I'll be honest. Can we really not go back to being able to strip mine and stuff? Because this last 200 blocks, it doesn't sound like much, but it's, it is a lot. Like, it's genuinely an annoying amount um, that we're going to have to go through. Oh, we found some more lapis. Um, we don't need it. <laughs> we don't. Um, yeah, really, it's, it's so far away. Like, I genuinely, I don't even want to do it. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to keep going because of just how how exhausting this is going to be to do all those blocks. Um, <sighs> what do you reckon? 140 blocks? I'll do it. I'll be back. Oh, are you seeing what I'm seeing? Even though it's stone, if I hold my small tunnel, it actually is doing some sort of a uh, ulti mine effect where it actually is attempting at the very least. Very interesting. I, I don't know what I expected. Oh, we're also uh, starving. 
All right, well, regardless, we do appear to be at like a deep slate section. There's even diamonds. We don't need them. We've got plenty of diamonds back at the base, but they're there if you need like the ore for whatever reason, or maybe if you set up a quarry, maybe that's what this stuff's for. Um, probably getting stuff a little bit faster. But for a while there, it was actually working through um, the stuff I needed. By the way, I believe we are where we wanted to be. This looks to be um, netherrack, nether stuff. It also looks like it's slowly fading into it. So I'll tell you what, we'll, we'll keep going a little bit. But this is um, pretty much the end of the episode. The chance block stuff I still want to do. So I'll tell you what, I'll try my absolute hardest to get right to the um, the actual uh, netherrack, right? Where we can just mine a lot of netherrack. We're gonna have to run back here anyway. We don't. We didn't come with a teleporter or anything, so this is a little bit uh silly. But it will just be nice to know all we have to do is walk here. You know what I mean? As opposed to oh, we gotta go strip mining as well or, or whatever it is. Um, so we're almost there. Okay, I believe we are where we want to be. Although, if we want to actually get in, uh netherrack, it looks like we gotta go up a little bit. Um, so I'll tell you what. Once again, we'll just go up just enough to get a uh, just netherrack. Although. I don't even know if that's a thing. Um, hold on. If I do this and I do um, escape tunnel, is this going to... What, what's this going to even do? Uh, it's trying. I guess that's something, right? How are we looking? Yeah. I mean, look. This is all netherrack. Beautiful. So we're there. <laughs> We've got the stuff. Um, oh, in terms of picking all that up... Oh, we simply weren't. Oh, God. That's going to have made a mess. Um, we can We can fix this. All right, there we go. We've got netherrack and brick. I'm going to run back through here and pick up my mess um, before everyone yells at me. And I'll tell you what. We'll... Yeah, well, I'll be back with the uh, with the chance cubes over where we need to be. I'll probably use... Oh, there's a lot of mobs that I didn't expect. All right, well, anyway, let's use this guy. Boom. Oh, I got to hold it. Here we go. Um, we've got some beautiful teleportation happening. And... Voila! <laughs> We should be back at the base. Oh, we're back at spawn. Um, I wonder if running through this will send me to my island. I hope so. I hope this doesn't just break my entire island. Fingers crossed. Survey says. Nice. We're here. Beautiful. <laughs> awesome. So, what's next? Um, I don't remember. What were we doing? Chance cubes. Chance cubes. Chance cubes. And I'll tell you what. I almost can't be bothered emptying my inventory. We're going to grab uh, five of these. To be ready, I'll put away, I don't know, just enough that I can bring back whatever loot we happen to find over there. I will be eating this. I'll hold on to that. This can go away. That can go away. That can go away. That can go away. That can go away. The rest of this stuff, actually, yep, that. The rest of this stuff can come with me, I think. Uh, maybe the fluorite, you know? May yeah, may maybe the fluorite can stay. Uh, but these five chance cubes will be coming with me. I will meet you guys down here for the chance cube time. <laughs> and uh, actually, before we do that, let's get our uh, rewards. What do we get? Living wood twig. We also got a black candle, or you know, maybe multiple. Um, for breeding the chickens, we got a compacting drawer. That's fun. Um, for the home thing we made, we received a vile sword. Ooh. Um, and then for the pocket storage, we got ourselves a train schedule. Awesome. What was, why was there a monkey sound? Okay. Sure. Um, okay, this vile sword, I don't know what else it does, but it's not that good, so we're just not going to use it. Um, but we've got five chance cubes. Okay, chance cube number one. Oh, did this just skyblock me? I think it's. I think it threw me up as high as it could, which, as you can see, wasn't too far. But we are now skyblocking in stone block. That would be a very uh, clickbaity title. I probably won't do that, but, but I could have... Okay, and it was, and it would have been a cool one. Um, do we even start with? Yeah, <laughs> this might actually be pretty good, like melons and stuff. I don't know if we have melons. Oh, string as well. Ooh, thank you. I know we got a little bit from the spiders, but sure. Um, second chance cube. I think it threw me in the sky. I'll be honest. Um, we had chat off. I'm sure it would have said like, up, up and away or something. How <laughs> do you can imagine? Next up, the third chance cube. Doctor. Traorus. He's unemployed. Um, well, enjoy your stay. He's name tag, so he won't despawn. Um, yep, the town's that way. Watch out for the pit. Um, that's if he lives beyond chance cube number four. <gasps> oh, remember me. Boom. Oh, you know what? I think... 
think because our islands claimed, or our stone blocks claimed, it didn't blow us up. Huh. <laughs> okay, yeah, sure, 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 sure. Is that cheaty? Probably. Do I care? A little bit. Um, is our villagers still alive because of it? Uh-huh. Is this the fifth and final chance cube? <sighs> oh. Cool. Yeah, we can... Yeah. Let me... Uh-huh. Um... Sure. Uh... That's a cool guy. Um, sure. Oh, I, yeah, I can't put it back on. Ah, oh, I should have left it on. Ah, oh, ah, oh, how disappointing. Um, anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode. Um, how can I use this again? Can I use it already? I can. Oh, oh, oh no, that's going to send me to like spawn spawn. So laggy, bruh. <laughs> Let's have a look. Forge TPS. 20 TPS. Lies. <laughs> um, this is global TPS as well. Um, you can obviously see every, every single base someone makes. The list isn't even big enough. Oh, I guess it sort of is. The end's there. Every single base, they get their own dimension. So we can literally see like whose dimension causes lag and stuff. And then if one's, you know, particularly, uh, annoying, we just get rid of it. <laughs> we probably won't do that. But, but the fact that we can is awesome. And, um, when this server ends, unlike the other ones, we should be able to just like, um, give people their, their dimensions. You know what I mean? Like in theory, you won't need to download the entire world, right? All you need is your little dimension. And, and like, that's, that's pretty cool. I, I, I like that. The, the dimension strategy for servers, amazing, amazing. Like, especially with mods where there's teleporters and stuff, like you can still literally be like one block away from, uh, you know, your other friend who's, or, or just the neighbor, right? Because the teleporter, you can teleport to your other, to the other base that just instantly, right? So, so you get all the benefits of multiplayer, right? Being able to go back and forth, show each other's builds, work with each other. But then whenever there's an issue, whenever there's lag, whenever you need to like, oh, I'm, I'm going to be offline for a while, you just have the dimension. And, and like, let's say, oh, we need to restart the overworld or like the, the, the map's changing or something. It's fine. Your dimension. You just will just take the dimension with. That's why I really like the concept of um, RF tools dimension. Um, that lets you literally make dimensions. Very, very cool uh, mod. Because, I mean, it lets you make dimensions. Eh? And you can do that whole concept. Very cool. I, I, I love it. I genuinely love it. Same with, like, um, Skyblock. If they had have made Skyblock different dimensions, like, like this, I love it. I love it. Uh, I'll let you know if that ever changes, if it becomes annoying, but as it stands currently, I, I absolutely love it. Um, in terms of this guy, by the way, our glowstone bee, how's he doing? Yeah, he exists. Okay. Um, what we'll do is we'll place him in there. We'll grab this stuff out. Once again, we don't really need it. So I'm going to put this away and I'll just place a bunch of these and let the let the fox go ham. Um, <laughs> it's like a, I don't know. It's like a mutual agreement. This guy probably loves me. Um, the chickens hate me, but, but the, the fox loves me. Um, yeah, and we, and we get loot from it. It's really cool. I'm oh, the music. We, that's what we needed. <laughs> oh, oh my God. So we can go in here, chuck in the music disc. And now we've got another upgrade slot. We chuck this guy right back in there. And then we can go ahead and make him even faster. He's going to go from, what was that? From 5.6 to 7.2 in terms of speed. So what does that look like? Oh, well, he's broken at the moment. <laughs> Hold on. It looks like this. So it's a little bit faster. I think that's pretty cool. Um, awesome. Nice. <laughs> so yeah, I guess now we know how to get our hands on our music discs and stuff. This is like a... Yeah, so if we set up a mob farm, we'd probably have so much loot. Enchanting apparatus. Awesome. But yeah, okay. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you're still enjoying the video. Um, or, or the series, sorry. Hopefully, hopefully you're, uh, I don't know, having fun. Um, thank you as well for the support on the channel, the, the comments, all that sort of stuff, liking the video. Th thank you guys for doing all that. Um, we've grown like crazy. I, I don't want to, I, I, I'll tell you what, I understand, um, you know, you know, when YouTube is always like, let's try and reach this, you know what I mean? I, I kind of get it, right? Because where we are at the moment, perfect. You know what I mean? Like I, I love where we're at. Like as a, as a community and as a channel, we're, we're doing phenomenal. But then it's like, I look at it, right? And it's like, well, we're close to 9,000. Well, and it's 
and it's close to the end of the year. But but like, l- listen, listen, listen. <laughs> I guess I guess it's too late, right? Me saying that is essentially me asking for it, right? But um, but but genuinely, regardless of any of that, thank you guys, thank you guys for watching. Um, hopefully, I'll see you guys in the next one. Yeah, uh, there's a lot of loot to pick up. I need a magnet. Um, remind me to make a magnet, I guess. Um, string, cool. How much string? A decent amount. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.